Rightio, so welcome back guys. Today we're going to finally do the insulation install to the canopy. This is some stuff I've had laying around, laying around for a while. I bought this probably six months ago and I put some insulation in the ceiling of one of my dog boxes on the Hilux. Um, it's just from Bunnings and I'm just going to attach it with this double sided tape which I've done before and it works really well. The heat didn't bother it or anything. Some people use adhesive sprays to attach this stuff. I did I did look into it, or foil board. Some people don't use this, they use some different stuff, but it's this stuff is meant to be applied with a little bit of a gap between this and the surface material. That's how it's, it's supposed to work. So using this tape gives me not much of a gap, but a little bit of a gap. Whereas if I use like an adhesive spray, it's gonna be this mated straight to that surface. So this is going to give me a little bit of a air gap and that's, you know, meant for the heat comes through the aluminium and reflects off this and it's just supposed to have that little thermal gap there. I've got a meter ruler, 600 mil square, wax and grease remover, two rolls of this tape and some rags and the main ingredient. And of course a Stanley knife. So I'm just going to use this foam gym mat that I've got here to roll this out, mark and cut. That's gonna be a good way to do it, I reckon. And then we'll clean the inside of the canopy with this, make sure there's no dirt, grease, oil, you know, on the surface. This here has been here for a while, it's pretty dusty, I'm gonna to have to clean it too. I don't know about using this on here though. I'm not sure that that's such a good idea, so I'll have to think about that for a bit. And a measuring tape, obviously. So let's start with the top here, which is going to be, call it 590, 590 wide by, let's say, 900 long. Right, so let's pour a bit of this wax and grease remover on here. <coughs> we'll give this a nice wipe down. Like I said earlier, it's in a previous video, it's, you know, there's no dust getting in here which is great. There's two sides. There's This side's a little more dull. This side's the more reflective. They both work. You could put it either way. Obviously this side's gonna be better at reflecting heat. I'm gonna give it a, just a light rub. This might be a bad idea, I don't know, but let's, I suppose we'll find out. This is what this is all about, a bit of testing for you. Now this is very strong stuff, it's uh, 60 pound, so they say use 5 centimetres for half a kilo. So when I used this on my dog box, I actually used their 30 pound stuff, I didn't even know they made 60, I just saw this the other day in Bunnings and grabbed it. I thought, you know, it's stronger, so my, you know, why not use the better one? Um, but in my dog box, I actually put full, full strips, three strips, which I'm not going to do that this time, I don't, really don't think it needs it. So I'm thinking about just doing... The corners one strip in each corner couple in the middle that's it it's not like it's a very big piece i'm sure it's going to be okay It's a bit hard with it curled over, but it's going to go up in there. It's not the end of the world. I'm sure I'll be able to get it somehow. So we'll peel off the top layer of this tape and we'll get it stuck in there. Alright, let's, let's get this in. I reckon, hopefully, if I just line this up well enough, it's going to... 
I'll be able to just fold this up and it should just go straight in. Hopefully. I mean, who knows? <laughs> if I've cut it properly, let's hope. Yeah. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Now, with this tape, it's a good idea to, you know, get it in here and hold pressure on the taped bits. Make sure it gets a good bond. But I like that. I think that's going to be pretty good. As I said before, I didn't have any dramas with the dog box. Like, it never came undone or anything, and that was summertime. I think they say this tape's good for up to 120 degrees. Pretty amazing. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so same deal with this side. stuff I get so angry I turn into the Hulk I really do like doing it this way eh? I've seen a little bit of research saw a couple of YouTube videos of blokes applying stuff like this or foil board with spray which um, one in particular he said it did well still holding up but I just wanted to try and have a little bit of a gap which this is gonna give me just a little bit of a gap and, uh, you know, I uh, actually looked at getting spray in town here. Bunnings, super cheap, but they all have pretty bad reviews. And some reviews said it worked okay and stuck. Most said it didn't. There was a bunch of different sprays, and I just didn't want to go that route. I've done this before, and I know it works, so I thought, why change it? Rightio, so that's the roof done. Um... I'm not gonna do the front. I don't really think, I think it's gonna be okay. You know, the cab's there. I reckon it's gonna be all right. So roof, I'll do the doors and I will do the rear for sure. Again, I probably won't do these lower sections, just across the back here, these three sections. And I reckon with the doors, I'll do here and maybe cut a square for each side and that'll probably do it right so onto the door make sure we get this the right way oh i don't want that sticking just yet about there i suppose so i've just got my measurements for the rear corner panels which are an odd shape. So we'll cut them out now. It's 500 wide, 500 long. We've got to go about 60 mil up here. And then we've got to come out 370. Let's cut it out. Now what's the over under of this going straight in? Sometimes I mess me measurements up, eh? Oh mate, look at that. So I reckon we'll just trace this for the other side. Get this in, in and on and on and in. So I've just run out of tape. I got two lengths of it. They're about three meters each. I thought I was definitely gonna have enough. But I think I've still got some of the 30 pound tape left over from when I did the dog boxes months ago. So we'll go and have a look. Um, yeah, there, beautiful. The 30 pound stuff, which worked absolutely fine. See on the back here, it says down here, 
Apply when temperature is above 10 degrees centigrade. In use temperature range, minus 40 to 120 degrees. This is the best stuff and it actually works. So yeah, in the dog box, middle of summer, you're talking plus 40, well above 40. God knows what the dog box, the actual steel, like aluminium temperature is getting to. But it never peeled off. It was great. I'd highly recommend it. So I've pretty much done everything. I've done the doors. I've done the roof. And I just finished the back. Look at that. She's looking pretty good. I'm very happy. Like I said, I'm not going to do those bits down there. I think it's going to be fine. Not doing the front. But I wanted to leave these bits till last to see what I had left over. But uh, so I reckon I'll cut a little square. I may as well. And that way the doors are done, you know, pretty well. Obviously the sides are still exposed and I didn't cut this right to the where I probably could have, but, you know, the biggest part of it's done, it's going to be fine. So I'll get these little squares done, I'll cut four of them up out of some offcuts, two for each door and we'll be on our way. So we've got a bit of a bonus for this video. The XTM, I don't know if you remember me mentioning this in a previous video, but the XTM table has rocked up, which clips onto this drawer. So let's take a look at that. Pretty warm day today, like every other day. <laughs> drawer table, stainless steel, inbuilt bottle opener, towel rack and hanging hooks. Easy to lift on and off, blah, blah, blah. Stores in the top of the drawer tub. Suits the XTM fixed top, like what I've got, and the slide top modular drawers. Weight capacity, blah, 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 blah. Now this drawer, for me, is not for anything crazy. It's just to have, because I know, like what I was gonna get was from TC Boxes, the same brand as this canopy, which was gonna be, it's like an aluminium box, two drawers with a table that folds out and it all looks very solid. You know, the table is with the drawers. This here, normally I wouldn't do something like this because, you know, it, it attaches on here and it seems like it's probably, it could be flimsy and not that great of a table. But for what I need it for, it's mainly just to pull up, put your beer on here, maybe make a little feed. Like, I'm not gonna be swinging off it, so I think it's gonna be okay, I hope. Now that looks bloody nice. That's what caught my eye, the fact that it's stainless steel and it seems to be well made. Um, you know, it looks like they've put the effort in and it's not, it's definitely not flimsy. Like it's got this fold at the back here and obviously these, which gives it strength. Although look at that. That's bent. Not the end of the world, but straighten it back, I suppose. So we open this up. Apparently, this clips on. Where are you going? This goes like this. Apparently, that's it. So, I wonder if, oh yeah. So to be honest, that's probably how I'm gonna use it, with it shut. I don't think I'll have the drawer open. Um, now on camera, obviously that looks terrible and flimsy, but obviously you're gonna have some movement. But, like I said, it's not really, I guess you could lean on it. It's not for that, it's literally just to put a cool drink, whatever, a beer. The main idea of this is when I pull up at camp, I open this up, the drawer fridge is gonna be on here. Obviously there's gonna be some food in here and whatever, cutlery, whatever, all that sort of stuff, kitchen stuff. You open up the drawer fridge, you grab a beer out, you drink it, you put it here. And that's, that's the idea of it. So I think it's gonna be fine. Uh, 
if I'm rolling solo, this will probably be my table. I usually take a table with me, the big plastic fold one that you get from Bunnings that's behind me that I use in the workshop here. I usually take that with me. But if I'm by myself, I don't really need it to be honest. So, I mean, I guess it depends what I'm doing because you do fill a table like up that. You do fill a table up like that pretty quick. I suppose, now that I'm thinking about it, even when I am solo, just cooking and utensils and food and whatever. To be honest, like, the more that I think about it, if I am solo, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna use this, why not? So I think it's gonna be all right. Um, I just hope that it's okay swinging off the top of this drawer. I mean, that's how they've made it and that's how it's designed. But I just wonder after a while, if, if you put excess weight on this, will it start to fatigue? But I reckon that's gonna be okay. So if you need to get in here, you still can easily. Shut that. Now you've got a beer top opener under here and one on here as well, which obviously you grab your beer and put it under here and take the top off. So I think that's okay. I mean, do I wish it was more solid? I suppose, yes. It'd be nice if I had a drawer that just had its own table and it was just, you know, relatively solid, not much movement. But in all honesty, like I said, I'm not gonna be putting real heavy stuff on here. Anyway, it's got some nice features. It's got the bottle top opener. Put your um, dishcloth in here. You can hang a little bin off here, a bin bag or whatever. Look, if I do think that this is too, too much movement, I reckon I could strengthen up this part of the drawer um, and just beef it up and make it so it doesn't really have any flex because a lot of that movement is actually in the top of that drawer. Well, anyway, we'll give it a good test. We'll give it a good run, see how it goes. Now, as far as storage for it, apparently it sits in top here, just like that. So that's pretty cool. I guess you could also just use it like that have the drawer out and that's a lot more solid you could use it like that i suppose that's pretty cool sit your beer on there it's a lot more solid probably a bit better if you wanted to actually use it to chop up veggies or whatever you're doing um so look this is good enough for me i'm I'm pretty happy with it. We'll, we'll use it. We'll see how we go. You'll end up seeing it in future videos getting used at camp. And after I've used it a few times, I guess I'll have an idea if if it's any good to use like this or if I use it out here. I'll, I'll find out what's the better way and what suits me better. Rightio, so pretty happy with how the insulation and everything's turned out today. Um, got me a little drawer, so I'll have to try that out. And uh, yeah, I suppose that'll do it for this one. I'll have to report back and let you guys know how much... I was supposed to put a thermometer in here without the in insulation and then do it with the insulation just to see how much of a difference there is. But what I can tell you is that it's stinking hot in there. So <laughs> I'll, I'll have a good idea with if, if this is going to you know make much of a difference. So I'll have to let you guys know. Take it easy, bloody. Have a good one, eh?